Hey, it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Today we're going to work on increasing thoracic rotation. So we have a few choices. We can either move it, we can go where the facet is, or we can go a little bit further out, the costo transverse joint, right? So our three options are, I could go, I always tell my patient, put your hand on your opposite shoulder. Never hold your patient's hand is the thinking. So if I want to get rotation at this segment, I could go on this side of the spinous process and I could just assist it, go around. I could have him turn with me till I have it to take a relax and I could just do more of a rotation, right? So there's one way using the spinous process. The other part is I can go over to where the facet is on the other side and I could help push it up towards like a flexion moment, which is always flexion and the spine is always towards the eye. So I'm kind of pushing up that way. As I do it, I have him and I'm pushing up towards his eye for mobilizing it, right? I could mobilize it or I can do contract relax or I can go costo transverse joint. I can go even further out where I could palpate where the rib angle would be. So here's the long isthmus. I can go next to it, get onto a rib angle and I could use this part of my hand and I can get onto it. I have him turn a little bit. It's easier to get on there. Now I'm on top on it on the side, get onto it. I could do a little bit of a lift to do traction and I could bring him around in a circle and can just mobilize like that. So all three of those will get it. Kind of one of the nice thing if you mobilize even through this joint, you get joints all the way to big circle. So you'll get probably 13 joints to mobilize, right? Between the front and the back. You're just getting that whole thoracic spine to move. You could be very general and still be okay. You don't have to know that you're on T7, T8. Sometimes you could just do a general arm across and get V's, right? I can take the hole and move it along as long as I'm hitting that whole thing. And then in my hand, if I feel something sticky, I can go very specific, right? Because we know, we think we're specific with joint moments, but we can't really be as sure. But so we can get that joints to move. And of course, it's always test, retest. So afterwards, did he rotate better, yes or no? All right, Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.